so talking about the screwing of various parts together it's important to note that when you use these type of self-tapping screws which will actually be used to secure these side mounts onto the frame you just uh, tighten them quite safely and securely but you do not use any kind of um, Loctite or anything on those. These uh, nuts which have got the nylock type uh, inside, the little nylon insert, do not need anything additional like Loctite to secure them. The same, but if you're going to go for metal on metal, so for example if you're taking a screw like this and you'll screw it into metal, in that case you should just put a very small part of Loctite on the inside of where the screw will go and clear away any excess Loctite before inserting the screw. You don't need to add uh, Loctite onto the screw end as well as the actual uh, point that it will be screwed into. When we talk about the motor mount, you may need to use Loctite to secure these, but again, it's very important just to put a small portion of Loctite on the hole where the screw will go. Make sure you 100% clear away the excess Loctite before securing the, the, the screw inside the bottom of the, the, the motor. Another tip that you can consider is the twisting of any power supply cables which can help reduce or eliminate interference due to power surges etc. Um, it's also important to bear in mind what will be your final use of the multicopter. If you know that you'll put certain accessories on, it's better to think about the wiring and the requirements of those accessories at the point that you're building it rather than having to go back and reinstall wiring and cabling after you've already assembled it. So very important to consider what will be a final use, what accessories will you put on to the multicopter and prepare for that at the point that you're building it. Okay, so just to talk about the basic assembly of the uh, motor into the motor mount, the actual arm comes uh, with one side which is designed to go into the frame and one side which is where the two holes are close together which is going to fit into the actual motor mount on this side. To as assemble the motor into the motor mount, as I said before, you're going to put a very small drop of Loctite just at the entrance of where the screw is going to fit in. So you drop that in there, you clear away any excess uh, Loctite and then you will use a screw to secure it. So I run the cables through um, the mount like that and then on the underneath I'm going to orientate the uh, screws so that they're aligned with uh, obviously these four um, mounting points here. I take the screw and uh, the screw is the M3 by 6 screw which you should have a bag of about 48 pieces. I put that inside the washer and I'm just going to make sure that I've got the uh, holes aligned correctly and I'm going to secure it in there. It's very important when securing uh, this and any other of the screws that you do not over tighten the, uh, the screw unnecessarily because this can cause damage to the frame later. So I drop this in here, oh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to show on camera. Uh, I'm going to use a hexagon head screwdriver just to secure that in there and of course you're going to repeat that same exercise for all four screws so that it's properly secured. Again, tight but not over tightened when tightening this and any other screws. Once you've done that and you've done the other four screws obviously, you're going to use the end of the arm which has got the two holes closest together, slide that in there, make sure that you align those the little uh, this notches on the, the motor mount make sure you align that correctly and then you're going to put the other side of the um, motor mount together again making sure that it's uh, properly located on those lugs before then uh, tightening up the rest of the screws here regarding the ESCs uh, being mounted there are different options that you can use one is that you can mount the ESCs in the arm in which case the recommendation is not to put the ESCs too close to each other. Of course if you're in a climate which is very hot you need to consider whether you can use some reflective material or something to avoid that the ESCs overheat or get too warm. In which case you may want to locate the ESCs outside of the arm somewhere on the frame. There's plenty of space on the frame for you to mount the ESCs uh, given almost any size of ESCs. 
if you are going to mount the ESCs in the arm and you're not using the recommended or the, the ESCs which are provided in the set, you need to make sure that obviously the ESCs will fit inside the, the diameter of the tube. Some of the options that you have for adding uh, electronics, meaning the motors, the controller, etc., to a Sky Hero multicopter. The simplest solution is to use one of these packs, which is available from Sky Hero, which comes with the motor, a controller, as well as the um, propellers that you need in order to get your Sky Hero multi rotor in the air. So, in this kind of box, what you've got is, of course, um, the ESCs. It can be four, six, eight. Uh, 12 according to, to what you require, the motors as well as a flight controller. In this case what we see here is the NASA flight controller but uh, you can also get it with the Wukong uh, controller as well. In the little box to the side you'll have some of the, the cabling and electronics and below underneath you'll see that you've got the uh, propellers as well as some of the wiring that you'll need to put everything together. So as I said this is a very neat solution in order to get yourself everything you need to get the Sky Hero up and flying once you've um, got the frame purchased and uh, ready to go. Of course in uh, support of the build you can contact sales at erc.market.com for more advice. There is a Sky Hero group on Facebook that you can follow um, and at the end of the video there will be a summary of the different support options that you have if you need technical advice, pre-sales technical advice. You can also get pre-built solutions available from ERC Market um, who can provide custom solutions for you.